Hello, I'm Troy Adu. I'm a filmmaker from London. Hi, my name is Sienna Bangur and I'm a writer, blogger and journalist from London. Troy and I are working on a very special project that really needs your help. 1500 and Counting is a documentary seeking to explore the culture of police brutality in the UK. Research by Inquest has shown that since 1991, there have been at least 1,500 deaths in police custody, but not one officer has been brought to justice for this. For us, we saw the importance of bringing this story to you guys as the viewers and telling the stories of the families that are affected by police brutality. We feel like with Ziana's journalistic skills and my filmmaking skills, we can produce a very successful documentary in telling the stories of these people who suffered quite a bit. And we need um, to shine a light on, on what's happening here because I think a lot of people think that racism is a thing of the past or they think that these things only happen in America, which just isn't the case. Racism is institutionalised in the UK, racism is insidious in the UK, and 1,500 and counting seeks to explore a particular institution, the institution of the police, and do our small bit to start to hold them to account for all these deaths. On May the 3rd, 2015, a man called Jeffrey Bayer was killed by the police in Scotland. And unfortunately, a lot of people seem to not know about this. And Troy and I found that quite interesting because in a heartbeat, we know exactly what's happening in America. We know exactly who is being killed by the police out there. And yet we didn't know about a man who was killed on British soil. And we think that this is wrong. Um, and we started to learn that it seems that a lot of people just aren't aware of the issues that are going on at home. We're too quick to kind of look, look abroad and say these things happen there and it's a lot better here. When really all it is is that racism manifests itself differently in this country. Now we need your help. We're trying to raise £6,000 to continue with our work. Last year we managed to put together our trailer and hold a couple of screenings and get some feedback from, from our friends and we're going to now implement all that feedback and, and continue with our research. But we need to, to do some travelling around the UK. We also need to make sure that we get the very best equipment to, to make sure we make the very best film for you, um, our audience in the UK and of course for our audiences internationally. We're starting to look at kind of um, life beyond editing the film as well. We're going to want to make sure that a lot of people see this so we want to make sure we put on screenings. We want to make sure that we work out how to get it distributed. We want to make sure that as many people see this film as possible. So what do you get out of supporting us, aside from supporting a really good cause and making sure that we are able to create this film for you and for the wider audiences out there? Well, there are some things on offer, some gifts on offer, including signed 1,500 and counting postcards by myself and Troy. There will also be tickets to our screening in the summer for you. Um, there will also be signed copies of my upcoming collection of poetry, Elephant, which comes out on May the 21st. And Troy even has some things on offer for you. So on my end, I'll offer you a filmmaking workshop. It would be very beginner based. But as we know, there are lots of stories you guys want to tell. And this workshop will hopefully allow you to tell those stories. So we want to help you make sure that you, you tell your stories too. Um, but first we need you to help us tell the stories of people who really need that platform. So we understand that there are a lot of crowdfunders out there and a lot of people asking for your money, but we do hope you'll take the time to consider supporting us. Thank you.